on my end. You? Has the fridge been taken care of? I think so. Ah, brilliant. But my main concern is meatballs. All of them in the freezer? Oh, um, yeah. Um, well, almost. Got one left in the van. We ran out of space. Ah, of course we did. Of course we did. You left him in the van? Christ almighty hell. Don't be a bozo. We only got through this decade because we're not bozos. Bozos get caught. You want to be a bozo? Go down that road, fine. But don't take us with you. Sorry, Bob. I, uh, kinda didn't know what to do. I wanted your advice. Hmm. It's okay. Put the Goomba in the basement. I'll figure something out later. Um, uh, okie doke, Bob. There goes the idea of starting the new millennium with a clean slate. But, uh, I appreciate the porch work. I really do. You gotta be the most festive-looking mortuary in New York City. Was he mad? What did he say? He was made of a dick. Nothing new. Gotta keep us on the edge, I guess. you to walk in here in those dirty ass shoes jesus christ oh fuck sorry that that was a bad move yeah i'm sorry lati sorry to break it to you pal but the mess you always make down here it doesn't magically clean itself up jesus mary and who just get the hell out of here hal do something useful and get the oven heated and take those damn shoes off first.
walked in and made a big mess again. That's why we love him and pay dearly for him. Need some help? It's mud, not the red stuff. Just don't spread it further is all I ask for. Besides, I'll be there in a sec. Better put some music on before the guys do. ass now. <laughs> what hope do the rest of us have? Tell her to put on something thematically relevant. Whatever this noise is, it's a major drag. F off. I happen to like this band. They embody the sound of the decade. Like dial-up modem noises mixed with ice skating on a chalkboard. Eh, leave it. At least it's not so and About Mitch Milton now? Ha, five beers too early, kids. You wanted to reminisce tonight. Let's reminisce from the start. Mitch Milton. Touchy subject, kid. Mitch is still warm, and so are my memories of the fucker. <laughs> Come on, man. Yo, Bob, you know that brains stay active for hours after death. Really? Well, my horribly offline friends, hearing is said to be the last thing to go. So. Mitch Milton might still appreciate a good word or two, you know? Yeah, that's just a fat lie meant to play on my good old Catholic guilt, isn't it? Scientific speculation. That's all. Take it or leave it. TTYL. want to listen about the good old time. So, 1990, a crooked lawyer's call, a cereal cleaner parting a Red Sea like Moses. Vamos!
All right, children, enough applause. And one more toast for Mitch. Yes. It's been 10 years since I got back to working with corpses full time. And I still can't believe that three walking dead men became my friends. Dead men, often better friends, can't stab you in the back. Mm-hmm. Want to tell us about your baggage now or later, big man? Come on now. We're all a civilized bunch. Participation is, of course, voluntary. Although, I'd urge you to rise to the occasion. Anyone? control myself he said i couldn't control myself should have kept my mouth shut ignored the serbians insults ignored police insults god damn god damn gotta clean up this mess somehow gotta get rid of the bodies wait yes gotta get the chainsaw yes Gotta get the good old trusty chainsaw. Yes. Chief, my boss, your boss, Don Raina, sent me to help you out. He sent you to what? To clean up, to hide the bodies, to get you out of this hot mess your sorry ass has gotten you into. Asshead! None of them ever helped me out. What 
now! Son, the pigs are coming. You can continue your little tantrum and go to jail, or you can try to trust me. Oh, God damn car! And I'll rip everything inside the struts! You set me up! Son, whatever you do to my Charlie Parker cassettes, I will do to you. You've been warned. Jesus fucking Christ. Let's save this ungrateful SOB's ass.
Expected, huh? What's wrong? Can't catch your tongue. What's your angle? So you can talk at normal volume if you want to. What do you mean, my angle? Are you giving me up to the pigs or to Don Rena's execution squad? I think his entire execution squad is either stuck in my trunk or scattered around that cabin back there. As for the pigs, well, we also just left them behind. So I don't think either of those ideas works. Nah, I want to offer you a job. You can probably guess what it entails by now. It's a wild job, but you're a wild guy. Pays well, comes with accommodations, gets Don Rain off your back if I vouch for you. So what do you say? I'm, I'm not proud. I threaten Charlie Parker cassettes and your car and me and you. Oh, a very a physical performance, Hal. Thank you. Please fix that later. Ah, uh, shit. I'm sorry. I mean, eat shit. Was that almost an apology? The madman's gotta be feeling really grateful. Well, I'm grateful for him. That being said... Your turn, Aaron. NGL, I'm game. FYI, my story was a little different. Bob wasn't saving my ass. We met as equals. As equals? Huh. An aspiring mentor taken aback by a promising young rookie and her elite skillage. Elite skillage? Huh. Can your aggressiveness be a little less passive? You ancient llama. Well, uh, why don't you simply tell us how you remember it, sweetheart? info I've intercepted is correct. His target tonight is this morgue. Easy. Imagine the look on his face if I actually pull this off. And if I don't, should get out of it with only a slap on the wrist. This is your casting call, girl. Your audition tape, your one-time chance to impress. Once a New York wave queen, now a master hacker. And soon, a legendary fixer.
Listen, I'm impressed, but I just don't get why you do this. Oh, it's a long story. So, my name is Aaron Reed, but my friends call me Viper. Viper? Wow. <laughs> Your friends must be regular freaking comedians. <laughs> Nuh-uh. They're super cool hackers who steal sports cars and take a lot of drugs. Uh-huh. You're something of a jokester yourself. No? My corpse cleaning competences are considerable, Mr. Leaner. And I'm a big fan of the work you did in the 70s. What in the... Wow. Yeah, uh-huh, well, I hear you. Let me think. Uh, so how did you? You teach me how to clean up IRL. I teach you how to clean up online. Deal? Uh, I'll be in touch. Meantime, get yourself some body bags and a good vacuum cleaner. A vacuum? You're refusing to take me seriously, aren't you, you old fart? Boom! High score! I'll have you know that there's VIP in Viper for a damn good reason, OFC! So, um, 